Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willow Van Journals. Welcome back to my channel. I am a journaler, journal maker and teacher of journaling courses and I'm so excited to launch a new journal challenge for 2022. I was trying to think of a weekly challenge that I could do myself that would capture the year for me um, week by week. So I thought about having a journal because I'm a journaler. That's how I like to document my year and remember my year. Um, so I thought I'd just grab a journal and put a photo a week in there so one page spread per photo and yeah I, I take a lot of photos in my life <laughs> so, so I thought I could choose my favorite photo from the week or I also have a list of prompts some fun prompts that I can also use for inspiration if nothing's grabbing me or if nothing really exciting happened in a week, I can refer to one of the prompts and go out exploring or set up a little photo shoot. Um, and I thought that could just give me something fun to do throughout the year and something fun to document. Um, and yeah, if I do take lots of photos during the week, I can choose, yeah, like I said, my favorite one or one that's symbolic of the week or this this project also ties in with the intentional life course that I'm running as a way for us the journalists who are doing that course with me as a way for us to document our year week by week so instead of we might not do daily journaling but we can document our year week by week and just check in so it's a way for us to check in with our week and just see what our highlight was or something good that happened that week or something that we're grateful for or one of our goals that we ticked off we could document that through a photo and then my idea was to put it in a journal so yeah a page per photo and then write about that week using that photo as the decoration or the ephemera from the week so it's very simple and quick journaling. It doesn't take too much time. You don't need a whole bunch of materials. And I thought that could be just a fun, quick, easy way for me to document my year. And then I'd have a wonderful keepsake journal that I can have to look back on and my whole year will be captured in that. Um, and you could do as much writing as you want. You could write you know, about your week or you could just let the photo speak for itself and write about that photo. Another idea is to use the same prompt each week. Um, so here's a look at the prompts that I've got that I'm using for inspiration. Um, things like selfie, so I've already taken my selfie and I will print it out in this video. I'll show you how I print out um, my very first photo for the first week of the year uh, using my Instax Polaroid printer, which is really fun. So yeah, these prompts kind of line up with the course as well so it goes for a year the course for anyone who wants to stay on for the whole year and each month there's a different theme so February the month of February the theme is identity January the theme is intentions and so a lot of these uh, prompts line up with the theme of the month so another theme is self-care another theme is gratitude so yeah really fun um, and I thought I could pair the specific prompts with the specific theme for the month if I wanted to do it that way so I don't have to do this in order that's just there as an inspiration list you could definitely do it in order if you wanted to but yeah there's 52 prompts there if you would like to use that as well to enhance your own journaling um, I'm just showing you a sneak peek of my intentional life journal that I'm using to document that course and my year this is my yearly journal for 2022 and I was playing around with putting the photos in this journal actually and doing a weekly check-in in my yearly journal. I'm not too sure which one I'll do at the moment. But another idea I had was to actually put the photos on a photo wall. So I was going to string up um, some fairy lights on one of my walls in my room and peg the photos, the 52 photos, along there. And I thought on the back I could stick something on the back of the photo so that I could have some writing space and write one thing that I was grateful for each week or the best thing that happened each week or my highlight of each week or just something s simple like that. So that's another idea for you know how cool that'd be to see that photo wall fill up as the years, as the years, as the weeks pass. And yeah, just something to make the year go a bit more fun, <laughs> joyful and to keep us accountable and intentional with our journaling. So here I'm just going to demonstrate how I print a Polaroid because I think it's really cool and in case you are thinking of getting this or you've never seen it before, this is something that I got for my birthday last year. It was a birthday present from my mum 
and I love using it. So you basically connect it to your Wi-Fi through the Instax app and then opening up the app I can select all the photos well I can see all the photos on my phone I just select the one that I want to print this was the very first prompt for the 52 week photo journal challenge and it was selfie and I love that there's meaningful things in the selfies so when I take photos I want to pack as much meaning into them as possible so it's not just of my face Keanu's in the background the blue butterfly which is one of my symbols is in the background and the Charlie Mackesy book is in the background my mint nails are in there my Instax camera is in there to document this whole start of the journey taking photos throughout the year and my rings representing sparkles and that kind of thing are also represented in that photo so just as that develops I will show you how that was the last uh, photo it shows you with the lights how many are left so there's only one light that lit up um, and now I am going to refill this printer with some Polaroids so yeah really really fun um, I actually just got it off eBay because I live in a small country town so there's nowhere to buy it where I am so yeah just got it off eBay um, that Instax camera is really fun but that one does it not the square photos it does the rectangle photos um, so I really really enjoy the square shape so it took me a little while to open it up <laughs> uh, the buttons are a little finicky on this machine but there we go so I just take out the old cartridge I think that's what it's called and load the new one you just line up the yellow mark with the yellow stripe and put that in there and now, now it's ready to go with 10 they come with 10 polaroids um, but first it prints out that you know the blank one the same happens when you put the um, film in the instax camera it prints out a black one a blank one and then you have 10 films left or polaroids left so yeah really fun so if you'd like to join me with this challenge you can um, yeah get started right away and maybe you want to make a journal specific for this project or rig up some sort of rope or twine to do a photo wall um, and yeah really really fun way to document our year so it really resonates with me this idea because I, like I said I've, I love taking photos photos are one of my favorite ways to journal and document my memories um, but I love also that I can get to write a bit more either on the back of the photo or on the journal page and oh, the printable that you saw before, that's available over on my Instagram, which I'll also post my photos, my 52 photos over on Instagram as well to help keep me accountable. Um, and yeah, you can download the printable on Instagram or on the Willow Bound Journal's Facebook page or on my Patreon. And yeah, have fun taking photos this year. Have fun documenting your year. I'm just playing around here with adding this on the page but um, I also have some more printables coming up I'll share those next week that tie in with this challenge that can help us document our year weekly monthly um, and for the year so stay tuned for that a big special thank you to all my patrons in December who supported me and Willow Bound Journals with the vision to bring light and love to the world through storytelling journaling and creativity and inspiration you guys without you i could not do what i do full time so thank you thank you so much you allow me to do videos and make journals and teach journaling courses so know that you are having a huge impact on not only my life but all the people who watch the videos uh, get one of my journals or do one of my courses if you would like to become a patron in january uh, the link will be down below in the description box so that gives you access to extra videos printables behind the scenes looks personal updates first access to my journals and you'll be just supporting me and I just can't thank you enough for that helping my dream come true. May you journal your life because your stories matter.